And we are getting ready to hit the road for episode 23. We're packing up at Capishard Springs. Currently busy loading the water. The rain's in there, you know, um, at the water tank. If you've ever wondered how we fill up our tank, and there is a water tank, 100 liters in here, and we are slowly getting ready. Loading the water, stock take off the food, loading our clothes, because tomorrow morning early we're heading north. We will be heading up along the east coast of Lake Tanganyika, and we're going to take you along on the road. With my own Join us on the road and follow us on social media, subscribe to our Patreon, and get exclusive access to our videos. Seen by like 5,000 people. Yeah. No, no, I've got wet hands. Don't worry, I, you still look much better than me. Bye Come again. Yeah. <laughs> you, you smell Bye nice. bye again. Wait, hold. Yeah, but no one will know that on the photo, bye. will they? No, no, it's a video, so they'll hear that. <laughs> it's only for YouTube. We then headed north towards Lake Tampanica on some very interesting roads. Our first destination was Isanga Bay and Beach Life, where we spent three days relaxing and celebration of our second visit to Lake Tampanica and about 300 days on the road. We are burning Corinne's panty today. Thank you, Karin, for the sacrifice. And wearing it <laughs> for wearing so many days. <laughs> for wearing it for so many days. Every day ended with us watching the sunset and the fishermen getting their daily catch. Then it was time to head further north, crossing back into Tanzania, staying along the eastern shore of Lake Tanganyika. So Corinne has decided to jog to keep up her fitness. So when we, sh when we left this morning, she left first at running and now she's done six kilometers to help her keep up with her fitness. How was the run, honey? I'm fit. That oh. was good. Okay. I'm fit. Oh, she, she's, not, she's not fit. So hopefully this will be a start of a new trend. Keeping fit while overlanding. Yeah. It's hard. But was it fun? Yes. Yeah. So let's see if this continues. Our next destination was Lakeshore Lodge. On the way we visited the ruins of the old mission church on the hill. This church was built by Catholic missionaries, the White Fathers. It was built in 1894 and everything was made on site. The bricks, roof and tiles. The missionaries inhabited it for 45 years. The church then fell into disrepair and ruin after the missionaries moved downhill to the plains where the mission still exists today. So 
so it's been a week of beach life since we left Kapisha. Yes, close to island side. <laughs> yeah. Um, we've been very relaxed. We've not really been doing a lot. We just slide on the beach and went to, to snorkel a bit today. We kayaked a bit. And it's really been yes, nice. We haven't, we haven't been doing much. I cooked a bit. Yes, yes, yeah, well, we dried. Yeah. I got, I, yes, I, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, she made butternut um, and she made um, harissa. Yeah, but it's not as nice as Mel's harissa. Yeah, we, we well, we, we're recipe. missing Ludo Busby, and Busby and, and Mel's cooking. And all the other, obviously the people as well. Oh, yes, we're missing Mel and, and Mark and, and Wayne and what's her, and, and what's Wayne and your, the, weird, the weird one. Oh, uh, uh, the, Jack. Uh, no, Joe, the, Joe, Joe, Joe. The, uh, the Afrikaans Greek. Oh, uh, Joe. Joe, yeah. Yes, we're missing Joe, Joe as well. Mm. Hope you guys are well. And yeah, we've, we've really enjoyed the, uh, the island style the, or the beach style along mm. Lake Tanganyika so far. Yeah, Can't it's believe bit, it's more than a week. It, it feels like it's a bit more relaxed than Malawi. Can you believe that? And the um, water's a bit colder than Lake Malawi, so we haven't swum yeah, as much. Yeah, but yeah, much more relaxed. Yeah. Uh, we're working on our tan, we're getting browner by the day. Mm. Yeah. Um, I wonder what we're going to do next. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I don't know, maybe we, we should do something. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, hmm. Just something. Yeah. Yeah. That's it for the first week along Lake Tanganyika. Something we forgot to mention is the absolute gorgeous sunsets we see every day. Hopefully one of the nicest things about our holiday on Lake Tanganyika. Next time, I'm feeling some four wheels. We camp next to a hippo pool and watch the hippos wallowing. If you enjoyed our video, please like it and share our Patreon page. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Just look for Fearless on Four Wheels.